The office in San Francisco is a place where Sennheiser can play. It's um, where we explore new technologies and new applications of those technologies. So it's really a perfect fit for this project. We wanted the development of the audio block to be a bit different too. We wanted to engage the community a little bit more. And the challenges we put to the phone box community really gave us good ideas right off the bat and helped us hone in on the important aspects and what users wanted. One of the most uh, reoccurring ideas on the forums and the blogs and the challenges is that people really do want high def audio from their phone if they can. And Sennheiser couldn't agree more, and it's an idea that personally resonated with me, so that's really the focus of this block. It's got a 150 milliwatt Class G headphone amp in there. You're not going to need that much power uh, during everyday listening, but you can really kick it up a notch and get the loudness you want and not sacrifice the clarity. We also spent time on the microphone input. Uh, it's really low noise, and we're kind of looking at uh, musicians who want to get down those uh, song ideas, or students and uh, journalists who want to record a lecture or that interview, and then actually use those tracks later. We also put in a low latency digital signal processor. Uh, so this allows us to do everything it needs to do. I mean, re remember, it's a phone. But also, it gives us a chance to massage the sound coming in and going out in that special Sennheiser way. And we really want to open up the hardware. Uh, we want the digital signal processor to be kind of user programmable too. I mean, in essence, if we do that, we're offering a low latency audio development platform for audio enthusiasts. I mean, really, the applications are endless and only bound by the creativity of the community. Yet, so far, it's proven to be really excellent. The design for this audio block is really coming from one user's suggestion to put two jacks on the audio block. And the thinking there was uh, for a way to easily share your music with your friend. But when you think about it, it becomes a really cool tool to do many other things that were never before possible. For instance, if you had four microphones in an array that clipped onto the side, you could use that as a super directive microphone. Again, like the Amphion model, we want the Proteus model to be kind of more of an open platform. With phone blocks comes this really low barrier of entry for third-party companies to develop cell phone hardware. I think right out of the gate, you can already see the, the benefit from directly interacting with users during the development process. Uh, it's, it's been an awesome project to work on, but that's because the community is awesome. And, and together, we're kind of shaping the future of audio.